We're celebrating one of my most favorite holidays of the entire year today in the kitchen. The 4th of July is just right around the corner and there is literally no better way to spend the day than out by the pool or the water with friends and family, grilling out all day, fireworks, and of course having a red, white, and blue themed sweet treat. Today we're going to be making mini red, white, and blue fruit trifles that are perfect for the 4th of July and to eat all summer long, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I am so excited to be sharing this dessert today. When it comes to the 4th of July, I am all about red, white, and blue, everything, food and clothes and all of the things. So of course we have to have a new dessert this year that is red, white, and blue, clearly. These mini fruit trifles are not only delicious, but are so easy to make. To start, we're gonna start whipping some heavy cream for our cream cheese layer. So you're gonna add one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream to a stand mixer with the whisk attachment, and you're gonna beat on high for about three to four minutes until stiff peaks form. For the next step, you're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese that is at room temperature to a large bowl, then three fourths of a cup of powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat this with your hand mixer until light and fluffy and everything is combined. Now we're gonna add the whipped cream to the cream cheese mixture. Add the whipped cream on top of the cream cheese and then we're going to gently fold the whipped cream into the cream cheese by taking a spatula down the middle and gently folding it over, turning the bowl just a quarter of the way and repeating until the whipped cream is fully incorporated into the cream cheese. This is going to result in a super light and delicious cream cheese filling that's almost like a no-bake cheesecake filling, but just a lot easier. So the hardest part of the recipe is actually finished. The next part of the recipe is just the cake layer, and you have a couple different options. I've used angel food cake today. You can buy a store-bought pre-made angel food cake, or I always like to make one at home just using the angel food cake box mix. It's super simple. No need to make a homemade angel food cake just either buy it pre-made or make it from the box mix at home. The next option you have is actually to use pound cake and you have the same choices of using store-bought or homemade just like the angel food cake. So buy a pre-made store-bought pound cake, use a box mix pound cake, or make a homemade pound cake. This is a great recipe to use with leftover pound cake or angel food cake. So the point of this all is just to make it easy and use whatever you have or whatever you want. I'm gonna be using a boxed angel food cake that I actually made yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and cube this up into small one inch cubes that will fit perfectly in the little mini cups that I'm using. After this is done, it's just assembly time. Today, I'm actually gonna be making these in little mini ice cream cups. You can use regular cups, you can use wine glasses, you can use any kind of mini dish that you have, or you can actually just go ahead and make this in an actual trifle dish instead of making individual servings. It totally doesn't matter. That's a part of this recipe that I love. It's super easy and customizable, just basically use what you love, use what you have. That's kind of my motto with everything in the kitchen. So I'm gonna be using these mini ice cream bowls and to start, I'm just gonna layer in a couple cubes of the angel food cake and then I'm gonna pipe on some of the cream cheese filling. You can also just spoon this on top and then you're gonna to top it with raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And that's it, it's so easy and you will have the cutest, most delicious, mini individual 4th of July desserts this year and really to enjoy all summer long. It's super easy, it can be made in less than 10 minutes. A lot of these these steps can be made the day before and just assembled right before you need it. You can use any kind of cake or fruit that you want. For the full recipe, head on over to KentuckyLiving.com. All that you need to know, the full recipe, all the substitutions and different variations for this recipe will be over there. Thanks so much for following along in my kitchen today with me. Have a safe and happy 4th of July and until next time, I will talk to you very soon. Bye.